social plans have been abandoned. The group chat is popping off. And the MOFS 2023 tea is being served boiling hot. Honestly, there's no better time to realize how well adjusted of a person you're than during married at first sight season, the most chaotic time of the year. For all the goss on who's still together, some, and who's broken up, most, we've popped on our sleuthing caps, grabbed our shovels, and have dug out all the dirt. Ahead, who's still together and who's broken up in MOFs, updated as the tea pours in. Which MOFs 2023 couples are still together? Uh, it's about as dry in here as you'd expect in a standard MOF season with only two couples reportedly still together. Melissa and Josh fresh photos from the Daily Mail have revealed Melissa Shepard and Josh White walking hand in hand in Sydney. The two were spotted arriving together at Sky Suites in Sydney and TBH, they both looked FKN stumped. It comes as the pair have recently butted heads in the show because Melissa is a complete hornbag, same, whilst her boo is not. Sad. In a confession letter task, Melissa revealed that she didn't get railed as much as she would have liked when she was with her ex-husband. For some reason, old mate then thought that Melissa's defining quality was her presence of sexual desire. I'm really frustrated, Josh said. There's so much more to life than just having sex. It seems that despite this tension, Josh may have finally thrown his wife a bone, and honestly, get that debu. Status, together. Bone City. Population equals Melissa. Ollie and Tani. Excellent news. The almost related couple Tani Cook and Oliver Skelton are still kicking on. The Daily Mail has spotted Perth based Ollie jetting back to Tani's city of Sydney with four large suitcases in hand, implying that he's made the move for good. Ollie's already secured a job in Sydney and in it for the long haul, a source told the Daily Mail. I cannot wait for the family gatherings where their family trees are cute little circles. Love that for them. Status, together. Moved in, shacked up and in Luluurv. Which MOF's 2023 couples have split up? It's only been a few weeks and we've already got pretty clear confirmation that a few couples are done so. Honestly? I'd expect this list to keep growing. Dan and Sandy Dan Hunches has already been making the headlines after he was pictured smooching a woman, not his wife Sandy Jawanda, at the Bloody Star Casino of all places. In pictures obtained by the Daily Mail, Dan can be seen macking on with Gold Coast nurse, Samantha Sims. The best part? His new galpo was a guest at the pair's on-screen wedding. I'm crying. One anonymous friend of Hunches told the Daily Mail that Sandy and his relationship was pretty much doomed from the get-go. Dan and Sandy had nothing in common, they said. He lives a completely different lifestyle, while he and Samantha share very similar values and interests. Pour one out for your girl Sandy who absolutely deserves more than the shit hand she was dealt. Status, broken up. Sandy for Bachelorette. Bronte and Harrison Jesus Christ, these two. In news that will probably make a lot of us cry, with happiness, it seems like Bronte and Harrison don't make it. Honestly, who could have seen that coming? Since this season has kicked off, Bronte Schofield and Harrison Boone have been knee deep in scandal. First, there was the whole Harrison dating former bocce star Abby Miller right up to the morning of his wedding. Then, we were enlightened with news that Bride Bronte was actually texting another bocce ex Dodd King during their bloody honeymoon. Unsurprisingly, so dramatic. Reported that Harrison went straight back to his secret girlfriend Abby after filming wrapped up. But Abby has recently sledged him over on Nick, calling him narcissistic and shutting down any current involvement with him due to all the lies he has told. So, uh, we'll call this one a big fat hell for Harrison. Status, broken up. Abby. Claire and Jesse, Janelle and Adam, Adam and Claire? Ah, the cornerstone of every good moth season, a good old-fashioned cheating scandal. Every season has to have one, and this year, it involves two couples, Claire Nomar has and Jesse Burford and Janelle Hahn and Adam Seed. It all came to a head when Jesse claimed that Claire cheated on him with Adam after a night out at the pub. Claire initially denied the allegations, but sources at So Dramatic have reported that another bride, Lendl, witnessed the kiss. Jesse, Claire's partner, immediately suspects something has happened, but Claire and Adam deny it, making Jesse look crazy. Until. It all comes out eventually, the anonymous source told So Dramatic. 
Now, I'm not endorsing cheating, but Jessie has been an absolute asswipe to Claire all season and has constantly told her how unattractive she was to him. I don't blame her for finding a little side piece who actually appreciates her. As for Adam? Well, he's previously admitted to cheating on his ex-fiancé from eight years ago, a week before their wedding, the cheek, the nerve, the gall, the audacity and the gumption. So it isn't exactly shocking. Petition for Janelle to get a new hot husband that won't cheat on her, PLS, Lord, the bar is so, so low. Status, broken up. We're watching this rello collapse on screen baby. Caitlin and Shannon lol no. Shannon Adams is apparently back with his ex-fiancé, which is very unsurprising considering he literally told his on-screen wife Caitlin McVinville that he was still in love with her. Suddenly, I'm very okay with being perpetually single. According to the Daily Mail, Shannon was in touch with his ex during filming as they co-parent a daughter together. I think Shannon tried to get over Jama by going on muffs, but he had second thoughts as soon as he married Caitlin, one source told the Daily Mail. Weird way to try and get over your ex, but I digress. He was upset after the wedding and wanted out right away. They were together for about seven years. It was very on and off but they are happy now. TBH, it's no big loss, dickhead Shannon told Caitlyn that other women on Mops had more natural beauty than her, and can someone PLS come to pick up their child? Status, broken up, thank fuck. Someone send Caitlyn a new honey ASAP. Who's still a bit hazy? Lyndall and Cameron in a sea of trash, Lyndall and Cameron are a breath of fresh air. They're honestly so FKN cute it makes me want to squeeze them. But are they still together? We're leaning towards yes. Maybe. Not. Snaps from Yahoo Lifestyle have shown Cam chilling in a local Alice Springs pub after work one evening. This has made fans speculate that they're no longer together as the FIFA worker has been spotted multiple times in Alice Springs, but Lyndall has remained in Perth. But TBH, it feels like a bit of a leap. It makes sense that the two haven't been seen in each other's cities. After all, Lyndall setting foot in the Northern Territory, or Cam in Perth, would pretty much be a walking spoiler. The pair still follow each other on the gram, so even if it has ended, they appear to be on good terms. TBH, if these two don't make it, I'm giving up on love forever and shaving my head. Status, unconfirmed. If they don't make it then true love is dead. Duncan and Alyssa who? Ah, right. The biggest tea to hit these two is when bride Alyssa Barman told her fresh hubby Duncan James she'd been the other woman in the past. With his history of being cheated on, it's not looking great. But according to the Daily Mail, yes, again, FKN sleuths. Photos have emerged of the couple carting back a Kmart oven to their new apartment in Sydney. The pickies were taken back in September though, so it's hard to gauge whether the two are still together. Status, unconfirmed. Might be toasting things in their new oven, not a baby analogy. Melinda and Leighton we don't really know much about this pair, but it seems that they're not off to the best start with Melinda saying that Leighton was punching just a little. TBH, we love the confidence. There hasn't been anything sleuthed out yet about their endgame, so we'll just have to wait and see. Status, unconfirmed. No whispers on the street yet, but prob's not a vibe. And that's all we know for now. Stay tuned.